Okay, so, a little while ago, I got a bunch of vacuum tubes. It's a big diode. Pentode. And some rectifiers and pentodes and triodes. Some of them were fried, but I just got them anyway. And so, what I was trying to do was make a tube oscillator, but... I just couldn't figure it out with circuits I made up, so I looked up something online and modified it a little bit. <coughs> Over here I'm using a pento uh dual triode and filament is six volts. It's a either a GC G seven I mean a 6CG7 or 6FQ7 Sylvania and I'm only using one part of this dual triode only one triode and I looked up the circuit on Instructables.com, but I modified modified it a little bit. Right here, I put a one to twenty k ohm. Well, what I have in there is a five k three one zero to five k ohm re resistance. Um, potentiometer between the feedback windings and plus 120 volts into the plate I think and minus 120 volts into positive 24 volts and then the negative of that goes into the top of a dual <clears throat> like what I found works really well for this for this transformer is a center tap what this is is it's like neutral 120 volts 240 volts and what I did is I called the 120 volts terminal the middle terminal and the neutral this side and the 240 side this side and that worked really well for some reason I couldn't get to work without this 24 volts right here um, <coughs> you could just use a bunch of 9 volt batteries hooked together in series but I used a laptop adapter or something and um, if there's a, I made a mm, power supply for this. It's basically wall current into a step down transformer that makes it into 12 volts AC and then goes into a, um, usually a step down transformer but it's in reverse. So the 12 volts is going into the 12 volt um, winding and then 120 volt comes out. And this circuit only needs 120 volts to run, so you could just rectify it and use it. But what I did is I use a voltage doubler so that between here and here, it's like around 120 volts. And here and here, it's around 120 volts. But if you need 300 volts, you can use here and here. And if you go into other tube projects usually you'll need 300 volts or more so um... <clears throat> let me hook this up to a speaker it takes a little bit to warm up Just turn it on. Mm. 
Now that's only with the 24 volts. I haven't turned on the 120 volts yet. And I think it's neat that a tube can run 24 volts. Now let me put the... Turn on the 120 volts. And I'll turn that off. And now uh, I'm going to hook it up to the oscilloscope. If I can get it hooked up. Bear with me here. Okay, so this is just going to be This is going to be without the capacitor to make the frequency lower. And then I'm going to put the capacitor. And I need a camera mount or something. That's just with 24 volts. And now I'll turn on the... Okay, now I'm going to add the capacitor. It's a 15 microfarad capacitor, and it's going to go in series with the output of the transformer and the oscilloscope. Don't want to get the crap shot down me right here. Um, I just think that's really neat. Okay, that's it.